Hello, my name is Zombie878 and welcome back to a circuit tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make dialogue with the new dialogue UI chip that cycles and you don't need to worry about resetting the room or anything like that. Just hit talk and the dialogue comes up. So let's get started. Okay, so first what we're going to do is we are going to get just, uh, I don't know, a stand-up guy like I had. Maybe Andy Standy, I don't know. Let, let's go for uh, BU Strings. He looks like a good person. So let's just go ahead and put him on the ground right here in front of us. We're just going to go ahead and freeze him too. We don't want him moving. Next, what we're going to do is we are actually going to get the dialogue UI chip. So just get it. We're going to place it right next to him. So the arrow is actually pointing at him. We So people know that they're talking to him. Let's move it a bit forward too so it's not in him. Or we can move it a bit more to the side. Okay, that looks good. Now let's move the dialogue chip up so it doesn't get in the way. And the first thing we're going to do is, since we want it to be empty when the game starts, we're actually going to get rid of all the text right here. So go through every single one of these texts and make sure there is absolutely nothing there. Then once you're done deleting all the text, you want to go to all the buttons too, and you want to set it to false. What setting it to false does is it's going to just make it so these buttons and the text is invisible. You can't make the body invisible. The body is going to stay there. You can make it non-interactive, but that one really doesn't matter. Next, what we want is we want a event receiver because when the room loads in, we are going to have it the way <clears throat> we're going to have it where the room loads in, the dialog box is completely empty and clear. Of course, you know, we are going to disable it, so don't enable it and then cycle around the executes like this and now when the room loads everything will be gone and this will also be invisible of course if you are working in a game with more than one person you are probably going to want to put synced on i think it's already synced yeah it's already synced so you don't need to worry about that Okay, now that we have this, what we are going to do is we are actually going to get the dialog boxes themselves. So go ahead and type in dial. It should be one of the first thing that comes up. We are going to get a dialog set, um, set dialog text. We're going to place this right here. We're going to get set button state. And we're also going to get set, uh, let's see, set title text. Don't know why they aren't right next to each other. And now that we have this, we are going to connect it to the dialog UI, the target. And then we can put anything we want here. In my case, since this is just a tutorial, I'm going to put some very basic responses let's say one two three four in your case you're actually gonna have to type in a lot of this stuff which will take a while but it will be worth it in the end we're also going to want to set these to true so it actually shows these buttons 
and we're gonna set this to true and so this guy was called Benu strings right I'm going to put his name in the title so you know who you're talking to so Benu string and let's uh, set the box saying hi I'm Benu strings yeah let's go with that hi I'm Benu strings I don't know if I'm saying that right or not okay now what we are gonna do is we're gonna connect all these to each other and we're actually going to connect this to the enable output on a dialog UI circuit board. And what we are going to do is we are actually going to get a interaction volume V2. Okay, so once you get the interaction volume V2, we are going to make sure that it covers the entire area. It looks like he is covered. And now that we got him covered, we are going to go into the trigger, I mean, interaction volume V2. And we're going to change the dialogue to say talk. So when you hover over it, it says talk. We're going to have a whole time of one second. You can change that. It will just vary based on your opinion. And we're going to make the movement speed zero. So you got to stay there while holding it. And now that we have that, let's go ahead and get this interaction volume v2 box and put it over here. Now that we have this, let's just copy this box however many times for however long you want the dialogue to be. Since this is just a tutorial, I'm going to make it pretty short. I'm just going to have three lines of dialogue. And um, I'm going to have to connect all these to the dialog UI. Sadly, when you copy it, it doesn't uh, connect to the dialog UI. But once we connect it to the dialog UI, we are going to um, get a int variable. So place uh, down an int variable gonna have an add we're gonna get an equals chip and an if chip just like most things just to make things nice and simple for us and we have four dialog boxes so I'm gonna move this up a little bit and I'm gonna pop four down here and I'm going to connect the int variable across like that and have it add one every time you hit the next button which is basically just clicking this box right here and then once you click this we're going to connect it to the if variable connect the else is all the way down and now we're going to connect it to each one so when it equals one it goes there when it equals two it goes to this text and when it equals three it goes to this text <clears throat> and then once you hit the third one and it equals four it actually goes over here and it disables everything again so now what we are going to do is just connect it all to your equals chip and we're just going to do the work of naming each one so one two three four and so on for however long you have this and then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this int variable with an equals and if chip and we're actually going to put it right here next to the interaction volume v2 and to finish things up we're going to get an interaction volume set lock this is so we can unlock it after we do lock it. So when you hit the interaction volume, it locks. And then after it locks, it's going to add one to the interaction volume. So when this equals one, 
it is going to enable the dialog box and go to the first dialog. Of course, like I said in previous videos, we are going to have to rename these the different things because if we don't, then it, it's not going to work because they're both connected with the same name. So let's name this, I don't know, Binu String uh enter let's just say int there we go that 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 should be good you should find a better way to name it to be honest and like i said since it's multiplayer we're probably going to want it synced if it's not multiplayer you don't need to worry about the syncing and we're going to name this one B new string. The reason I'm giving them both the name B new string, but I'm naming that one N up there, is so I have a convenient way of naming this. So if I was to put another um prop down or another person, I'll name this the person and this the person with the N on it. Now, as you see, oh well, before I load up the room, when <clears throat> When you get to the end of here, we're actually going to have to reset the int variables. So go ahead and put your int variables over here to reset them back to zero. Because if they're not reset back to zero, then it won't work. And then once it resets back to zero, make sure that it uh, unlocks the interaction volume. And now you should be completely done. So let's go ahead and save the game. And since I have it on where once the room loads, the dialog box is empty, you're going to see that once the room loads, the dialog box is empty. And when it's dark like this, it's actually disabled. Oh, well, I, I guess uh, it still does that. Uh, I don't know. It shouldn't have done that. Anyway, if I hit talk, you're going to notice that it enables. And now I got the dialog options, one, two, three, four. I got around all of them. Now if I click on it, oh, I see. The reason it's doing that is because I didn't have nothing else. <laughs> so besides of having four connected to here, like I um, thought it was supposed to be connected to, it's supposed to be connected to the reset. And now, um, oh, and one more thing, you want to change this interactive ding to false that way people cannot make the interaction volume go up or down even though this is off and now finally if i save the room and the room loads you're going to notice the dialog box is empty you can't interact with it but if i click on top this comes up I click through the entire conversation and now if I click it again it goes back and I can do the exact same thing again. So if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and I will see you in the next video.